This video is entitled, Making a Mockery of the Holy Spirit. This was brought about by one of my friends who sent me a message on Facebook about uh, a big discussion going on on her page where she's discussing some evil movie out. I think it's called something like The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo or something like that that has lesbianism and it has sex and violence and cursing and bad language. And apparently Christians are going to see this movie and they're coming out and then they're going to what they call Holy Spirit parties, Holy Ghost parties, and where they're seeing all types of manifestations and all types of things happening. And let me give you a little hint. If you're watching, first of all, if you're a Christian and you're sitting in a movie theater watching a filthy movie like this, and then you go to what you call a Holy Ghost party where you're seeing manifestations, I believe you are seeing manifestations. I believe that 110%. But here's a little 411 for you. The manifestations that you're seeing are from the devil. They're from Satan. They're from the enemy. They're not from God. They're not from Jesus. They're not from the Holy Spirit. Does it work that way? Okay. Anytime the Holy Spirit is involved in anything, there's always it's always orderly. It's always discernible by the flock and by whoever's leading the service or the gathering. And it is an orderly, known fact when the Holy Spirit arrives and starts to move. Okay. Another big thing that's going on, and this is widespread throughout the church. I've been reading about this for a while. And so it's time to, to talk about it and get it out there. I know I'm going to ruffle a lot of feathers. I'm going to make a lot of the new so-called Christians upset. They're going to say... Well, you know, Paul, kid, you know, you know, all you do is just Bible thump, man. Uh, you don't want to let anybody have any fun. You, you think you're holier than thou. You, you stop judging me, Paul, kid, and, and stop trying to say what I can and can't do and what I can and can't see, and, and you don't know anything. Who are you to try to tell me, you know, what the truth is? Well, first of all, as far as who am I, I'm a nobody. I'm a foot slave to Jesus Christ. I'm the least in his kingdom. But what I am is a man who's filled with the Holy Spirit. He flows through my veins. He lives in my heart. He shows me everything. And everything he shows me is 100% backed up by the Holy Bible. So who I am is a messenger of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't want to listen to me, then that's cool. That's your call. But the bottom line is, if you don't listen to me, you will listen to God when you kneel before him at the great white throne judgment, when he passes judgment upon you and casts you into hell for making a mockery and for committing heresy and blasphemy against the Holy Spirit if you do these type of things. I mean, come on. How in the world are you going to just sit there and just make the Holy Spirit seem like he's some kind of a party favor? Like he's some kind of a person that showed up uh, at your party to, to let you guys have fun, let you enjoy yourself. It don't work that way. Throughout the church now, there's all kinds of crazy movements. I've seen videos on YouTube and I've seen uh, reports where people are having communion. And I've watched it, and they're all, they all just start laughing, and they simulate taking drugs, they simulate smoking pot, and they, they're taking communion, and they're saying it's a Holy Spirit communion uh, party, and they're just, it's just like a big drunken orgy. And I look at that, and it just vexes the Holy Spirit so bad within me, and it's like, man, how in the world can you guys have the nerve? Don't you understand who the Holy Spirit is? You know, here's a little, here's a little basic, basic Christian 101. God, His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are the Trinity. They're the three in one. They're all the same person, but they're also separate entities. So, when you make fun or mock or commit heresy against the Holy Spirit, guess what? You're doing the exact same thing against Jesus Christ and against God. Okay? It's just insane. These televangelists now, and they have these healing services and, and healing houses where... Someone comes up to get healed, and they just start laughing uncontrollably, and it's just a, ha ha ha, and they're just rolling on the on the floor laughing, and then everybody in the audience starts to laugh, and they say that this is the manifestation of healing, but it's not because I've read reports where these people aren't even being healed. It's a mockery. They're making a mockery of the Holy Spirit, and it's just insane. You see churches now. You see videos on YouTube again where where churches are having services. And a person starts laughing, and the person looks at them next to them and starts laughing. And finally, the whole church is rolling around the floor laughing like they're watching a Three Stooges marathon. They think it's the funniest thing in the world. And they say, oh, yeah, 
oh yeah, that's the Holy Spirit. Look, the Holy Spirit is just making the whole place break out into laughter. And, and isn't this cool and great? Well, let me give you a little 411. Yeah, you are breaking out in laughter all over the congregation. Yeah, you are laughing all throughout Holy Communion. And yeah, you are laughing while you're supposedly being healed. But the laughter is not from the Holy Spirit. It's from Satan. Satan runs the majority of the church here in this filthy country of San Erica, formerly America. You know, it, it's sad because his demons are everywhere. I've actually read reports where people have gone to one of these healing services, or one of these big evangelical, you know, of deals, and they've actually seen people with their hands raised in the air and praising, and they've looked up, and they've seen demons circling in the ceiling in the big cathedral or the big auditorium coming down into the people's bodies with their hands up. It's a demonic service. And Satan has his demons out there just like Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Okay, Satan can, 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 he can try to have a fake impression of the Holy Spirit. He can throw, you know, his demons can do their thing. And people who don't have discernment, people who aren't following Christ the correct way, people who are trying to follow fads and trying to, to find new ways of doing things, you know, they're going to just fall into the trap. There, there are no new ways of doing things, okay? The Holy Bible was written thousands of years ago. What was written thousands of years ago was 100% accurate and relevant then, 100% accurate and relevant after that, and 100% accurate and relevant now. It doesn't change. So the ways of God, the ways of the Holy Bible, the ways of Jesus, the ways of the Holy Spirit haven't changed. Okay, look at Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came down as tongues of fire in the upper room and everyone started speaking in tongues, but it was orderly. There wasn't, I mean, there weren't people just rolling around and, and laughing and joking and, and having fun. It happened for a reason in the same, and it was just something that was just done orderly and in the context of how God wanted it to happen. All of this, a Holy Spirit party, laughter, and everything else is getting insane. Now, am I saying that the Holy Spirit can't come on a person and a person uh, can't laugh? Uh, in the Holy Spirit? No, I'm not saying that at all. It's possible. But the entire congregation it's not going to spread like wildfire and everybody starts laughing and cutting up like they're just, you know, watching the, the funniest comedy they've seen in their entire life. Because I'm telling you something. Let me give you a little more 411. If you mock the Holy Spirit, if you make fun of God and Jesus Christ and you make a mockery of the sanctuary that's supposed to be... I know the sanctuary it has, has turned into a den of Satan so many times and I know that most churches now don't preach the truth anymore. They don't preach the 100% uncut biblical truth, which is one reason why I'm here, because I do preach it that way. I do preach it exactly the way it's written. But in the same time, if you make a mockery of the house of God, the house of the Lord, and you try to make a mockery of the Holy Spirit, man, you've got some serious, serious answering to do. You've got some serious problems waiting you in eternity. You better fall on your knees and repent now. You better get out of these cults. You better stop going and, and watching these filthy movies and then coming out saying you're going to a Holy Ghost party. Just stop this nonsense, man. Satan is just laughing. He's just laughing his butt off at all you people. He's just saying, man, look at how stupid these Christians are. Look at how they're letting me use them to make a mockery of the one that I hate the most in the whole world, God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And they're like little pawns in my hands. And he's just laughing. He, he's just laughing uncontrollably in the demons. They're having a huge party in hell because Christians are just so dumb nowadays. What in the world is wrong with you people? Why are you even entertaining this kind of thing? Do not get involved in this. Do not get in all this involved in all this satanic garbage. It's only going to lead you to hell. You only need to be involved in the ways and the things of Jesus Christ and the Holy Bible, period. You need to start searching your soul. You need to start reading the Holy Bible, most importantly, and understand who the Holy Spirit is, how he operates, and what he does. And just stop this madness. Stop this nonsense. This just makes me sick. It just breaks my heart to see this, and it just fills me with righteous anger and holy discontent against people that do this. And I'm not going to stand up for it. You know, other people might sit around and say, oh, wow, you know, this is really cool. You can have a Holy Ghost party now, and everybody can laugh, and everybody can cut up, and people can, you know, fake taking drugs during communion, and people can just uh, mock the Holy Spirit. No, I'm not putting up with it. And when I see it, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it here. I'm going to call it on my Facebook pages. I'm going to call it all over the internet. I'm going to call it everywhere that I go because I am going to stand for the Holy Spirit, for Jesus and for God. And if you mock him or them and make fun of them or do anything crazy, I'm going to call you on it because that's the way it is. And no, Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, 
don't need us. He doesn't need, they don't need, you know, little peons like us to stand up for them. But it's our responsibility. We need to be doing it. We should be doing it. And I'm going to be doing it. And I hope that everybody who watches this video, who's not involved in this junk, is going to do it as well. And I hope everyone watching this video who is involved just reassesses and stops now before it's too late. Because this is just insanity, people. You know, this whole world is turning into an evil cesspool. Christianity is going by the wayside. People that will stand up for Jesus Christ and teach the Bible the way it was written are just so few in number. People don't want to hear us anymore. We're Bible thumpers. All we are is just, you know, we're overly overly religious, they say, and, and they don't want to talk to us. They don't want to hear from us. They want to stay in their happy, you know, just complacent lives where they just sit around and do nothing for God. And that's not going to work. I'm not going to put up with that. I'm not going to deal with it. And I'm going to call you on it. And I hope a lot of other people will stand with me and call others on, others on it as well. And let's get serious for Jesus Christ. We don't have much time, people. We need to get right and get real and take care of this now before it's too late, before Jesus returns and you're stuck here and paying for the way you're acting. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I'm so sorry that people make fun of the Holy Spirit, that they mock the Holy Spirit, that they commit heresy against the Holy Spirit. It's just so terrible. I'm so sorry that they blaspheme you, God, and Jesus, and your Holy Word, and all this evil stuff that goes on. It's just terrible. I just pray that people's souls would be pierced, that their spirits would be pierced, that they would understand what they're doing, and just fall on their knees and repent and say, enough, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm not going to make a mockery of the Holy Spirit, because when I do it, I'm making a mockery of God and Jesus Christ. Help them to remember who the Holy Spirit is. Help, him, help everybody to remember the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. He is God. He is Jesus. And they need to stop it right now. Respect the Holy Spirit. Fear Him. Love Him. Invite Him in so He can, in an orderly way, move amongst the congregation. So people can be saved. So people can be repenting of sins and iniquity. So lives can be changed. So people can be blessed and healed. The way the Holy Spirit does. Not this mockery and this phony laughter party stuff. It, it, it's got to go. People got to stop this. They got to start respecting the Holy Spirit for who He is. I just pray that everyone that watches this, Jesus, would just open their eyes, they would see the truth, and I pray this video would be shared far and wide so that many could understand, at least they can hear the truth. And if they refuse to act on the truth of the Word of God, that's between you and them, God. I've done my part, and we've done our part by sharing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And as always, my friends, if anyone watching this doesn't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this with me. Say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I know I've sinned. I know I've done wrong. I know I've done a lot of bad things in my life. I believe you came down to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were risen on the third day and went back to heaven to the right hand side of the Father where you've been preparing a place for all Christians for eternity. I pray that you would forgive me of my sins, cleanse my heart, make me whole, make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you pray this, my friends, Jesus says it in his own words that, that everyone that comes to me and asks will be saved. And if you're worried or you want to pray with someone, send me an inbox. Send me a private message. I'd love to pray for salvation with you. And you can call me. I'll give you my number. I can call you. I do it all the time on Facebook. I'd love to do it now. And if you need prayer, if you have a lost loved one or friend who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you are sick, if you have a friend or family member who's sick, if you need a job, a car, a home, if you need food, clothing, if you need water, if you have a sick pet, whatever it is, I'd love to pray with you. The Lord's given me the gift of faith, and when I pray, I pray believing in my heart 100%. I speak with my mouth, believing 100%, knowing 100% that God will answer all of my prayers as long as they're within His holy will. And if you pray this way, my friends, He'll answer all your prayers every time. I guarantee it. The Holy Bible says it. Test Him. Test him so he can show you the truth there. Well, once again, I thank you all for taking time to watch the video. Please share it with as many as possible. Let's get the word out. Let's get rid of this heresy, of this evil, of this mocking of the Holy Spirit. And let's just start treating him with the respect and love he deserves. Because he is God. He is Jesus. He is the Holy Spirit. Love you guys. And I pray God would bless you. Thank you.